How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today we're going to be going over how to set up the Lilypad plugin for PCS X2. So PCS X2 is emulator software, it basically emulates at the very least the PlayStation 2. So it will allow you to mount and play uh, PlayStation 2 ISO images of, of games that you had for your PlayStation 2 console. So one of the problems that I ran into relatively quickly was it was not overtly apparent how to actually configure the controller, which uses the Lilypad plugin by default, to work with your keyboard or work with another direct um, input controller. So if we go here to the settings, as you saw me go to navigate to through the drop down menu here we will have uh, just the general settings and what we want to look for here is in this lower this bottom box there are the various devices that this program has detected that are currently connected to the computer that can be configured to be used as a controller so like you here you'll see right there's my mouse right there's my keyboard i have a couple of other these x input pads i'm not sure where they come from uh but i I have, no, I have no idea how to use those. Uh, at the moment, just the keyboard works. We can click test devices to see, and I'll press uh, backspace here, and you'll notice the backspace value changes from zero to one. So that definitely works. Uh, the laser mouse works as well, but I've not really tested that. Then of course, I have an Xbox One controller, which I've been using. I've been using the keyboard and the Xbox One controller. So let's talk about how to actually go ahead and configure these. So you have two uh, pads, you know, basically two dual shock controllers that are being emulated here and they're under the tab is pad one and pad two so you click on pad one and you'll be presented with this rather complex and confusing screen and this is the screen that tripped me up because i would do things like mouse over these buttons and it, it doesn't give you any tips on how to actually configure this control you would think well obviously like in um like if you've ever used the logic tech mouse or something usually you just go through this list and then you can like right click on it and then enter a new value in one of these columns that's not going to be the case here you can't do it that way this column is completely static there are no tool tips or anything like that you and then when you take a look at the the documentation the official documentation how to actually configure this screen is never mentioned or the configuration settings on this screen never are mentioned they apparently think it's so obvious and it was not obvious for me how you do it is this way, and I'm going to go over here to pad two, which is completely empty, and I'm going to explain how this works. So let's say I want to configure up, down, left, right on an analog stick. I'm going to map that to a keyboard, and I want to map it to WASD, right? So I click the up button one time, then I press the key that I want it to map it to. So I'm gonna press W. Now the next one is left, click that once, press A, down, Press one, uh, click once, press S, and then right, uh, click once, press D. And that will map those keys on your keyboard to that controller. And then you simply apply those. In addition to this, your plugin settings can be saved. So after you get a setup that you like, you can click simply click save bindings and then you can save it as a dot um, lily configuration file so that way in the future you can just load those bindings up depending upon which game you're interested in playing and then you don't have to worry about configuring your keyboard to work with that game again but that is that explains how to actually configure pad 1 and pad 2 for the lily pad plugin for pcs x2 uh, I know at the beginning it, it certainly looks a little bit intimidating. It took me, I'd say, a good 30 minutes to finally figure out how to do it, and I only discovered it because there was a more in-depth tutorial that explained the entire workings of PCS X2. Uh, they didn't specifically address configuring Lilypad, uh, but I just noticed that when they went through it, I think they just sort of uh, mapped a key or something to it, and I sort of got the idea that that was exactly how you do it. It's very simple once you get the idea, but it is not apparent uh, at face value for me anyway and I, I have other peripherals that I can configure um, I have logic tech uh, peripherals primarily so maybe that is the reason for the misunderstanding is it's simply a, a difference in preference on how you actually configure these things but I, I did not personally find this very intuitive so maybe in the future uh, when I learn a little bit more about PCS X2 I can do some more uh, small small tutorial things on it some interesting quirks that I might find using it to emulate but so far it's been pretty good
So thank you very much for watching, as always, and I hope to see you next time.